So hello, my name is Francisco Cruz and today I'm gonna demonstrate three views of the hand, three views on the wrist and other views that you're gonna be using on the wrist. So first, we're gonna put this shield on the patient to protect him. Then we're gonna measure the SID that is gonna be four inch from the cassette that is gonna be 10 by 12. And we're gonna start with the P2A hand. Can you place your hand like this? Can you spend the fingers like this? I'm gonna put a marker right here. And the central ray is gonna be direct perpendicular to the third metacarpal phalangeal joint and center of film like this, right here. And the anatomy demonstrator is gonna be PDA projection of the carpal metacarpal phalangeus interarticulation of the hand and the distal ends of the radius and ulna. So don't move. Click, perfect, relax. Now we're gonna do the oblique hand. We're gonna need some device that can give us, I'm gonna put the marker here, that can give us a 45 degrees of the hand. Can you spend the fingers like this? And the central ray is gonna be the perpendicular to the third metacarpal joint, right, like here. The anatomy demonstrate is gonna be the oblique project, project, projection of the carpal metacarpal phalanges and the an interarticulation of the hand and the distal end of the radials and ulna. Okay. Don't move. Click. Perfect. Relax. The third view is going to be the lateral hand. So now I need you to put your hand like this and then do this I'm gonna open and we're gonna need another device to place that fingers like this so there is gonna be the patient position hand and the central right angle is gonna be the perpendicular to the metacarpal joint so it's gonna be right here and the anatomy demonstrates gonna be hand and wrist in the true lateral projection, the phalanges, metacarpal, carpals, and distal radials, and ulnar superpoise. The tongue should be seen without superimposition. So now, don't move, click, perfect. So now we're gonna uh, see the three views of the wrist. So we're gonna start with the P2A wrist. You're gonna place your hand. And now I need you to make a fist like this. Perfect, I'm gonna place the marker. And the central ray is gonna be direct perpendicular to the mid carpal area, so it's gonna be like this here. And the anatomy demonstrates gonna be pyroid projection of the carpal distal ends of the radius and ulna and the proximal end of metacarpus. The calination here is gonna be distal end or radius and ulna. Don't move. Click, perfect, relax. Now, the Pitaway oblique wrist, we're gonna use another device that can give us the 45 degrees of the hand. Perfect, can you wrap like this? And the central ray is gonna be direct perpendicular to the enter at the distal radius. So it's gonna be like this, right here. And the demonstration of the anatomy demonstrates is gonna be oblique projection of the carpals. So now I'm gonna move, don't move, click, perfect. The last one is gonna be lateral wrist. So the patient is gonna place your hand like this. Put your finger right there. And the central ray is gonna be direct perpendicular to the wrist, so it's gonna be this is gonna be the central ray. And the anatomy demonstrates is gonna be the lateral projection of the carpal, proximal end of metacarpals, distal ends of radius and ulna. Do not move, click, perfect. So now uh, for the next three views, the only chain is gonna be the cassette that is gonna be eight by 10. And we're gonna start with the wrist ulnar flexion. So the patient, can you do this? Perfect, so we can see the patient is gonna be placing the hand in ulnar flexion. And the central ray location is gonna be direct perpendicular to the scaphoid, so it's gonna be like this here. 
This procedure may also be done by using a 20 degree tube tube and the demo anatomy demonstrator is gonna be the scaphoid bone or free superstition from serine corpus. So do not move, click, perfect. And you relax. So now the next view is gonna be wrist speedway a stretcher method for a scaphoid. So we are gonna need a device to place the hand at 20 degrees. So can you relax here? We're gonna place here. And the, the center ray is gonna be on, this, on the scaphoid. So I'm gonna be like here. Don't move, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna place here. Don't move, click, perfect. I'm gonna, the last one, the last view is gonna be the wrist carpal tunnel. So here we're gonna need the same device that can place 20 degrees more the hand. We're gonna place the marker here and then the patient Use this band. Can you put this band on these three fingers and pull back? Perfect. So the central ray is gonna be direct 25 to 30 degrees cephalic to enter approximately one inch distal to the base of the formata corpus. The anatomy demonstrator is gonna be tangential projection of the carpal canal, including palmar aspect of the great multiangular, the tuberosity of the navicular, the recess multiangular, the capitate, the hamular process of the ame, the trichetrum, and the entire pisiform. So pull back, don't move, click, perfect.